We were here getting cured and feeling good about it. And we noticed the children were fearful. So we decided we need to do something about that. About two thirds of our children treated here have brain tumors and about a quarter of them have tumors called sarcomas that arise from muscle or bone cells. We decided to start a foundation that would be based primarily on raising money from prostate cancer patients, guys like us. And so we did some of that before we left, very successfully. Why do we need to keep your head still? My treatment. For your treatment, good! And we focused the fund to underwrite the salaries of people like Kim Ely, the child life specialist, uh, the artwork that's being done, uh, Mitch in the van. Kids cope best through play. Why are we getting a picture of your head? To make sure everything's okay. You and I might cope in a different way, um, but if these kids are able to reenact different things that are happening to them. Um, they're, they're able to cope better with their treatment. So one thing that's important for our um, education and preparation is using uh, what we like to call me dolls. Ready? We take that doll and we help uh, sort of play through um, the different stages and steps that are going to happen during a procedure, again, to sort of um, ease anxiety and um, help with coping. You're doing a great job. I just think she made it easier for me. She made it easier for you? I think so, yeah. yeah. For me, if it hadn't been for Kim being here and doing what she does, I think this would be a whole different scenario, I think. I was very concerned that Grace would have to have general anaesthetic every time she had a treatment. Um, and we came on the first day and we met Kim and Kim took her off and made the mask with her. And from that moment, I knew she'd be okay. So remember the next thing that's gonna happen is the x-ray panels are gonna come out. The scariest part was handing your child over. So you come here, you come to a new country, you come you know, to a, to a new treatment, and you hand your child over. And having Kim um, be able to sort of come and introduce herself and almost be the child's friend in the child's eyes and take her away has made that whole thing a lot easier for us and therefore less stressful. Do you like Kim? Yeah. yeah. And when we hired a child life specialist, we took this critical population and reduced the number of kids who needed anesthesia by 40%. One, two, three. Who could focus on reducing anxiety, reducing fear. Common sense tells you that if we can avoid delivering chemicals each day to put kids to sleep, they're gonna be better off in the long run. In this pediatric recovery room, you will find patients who are preparing to go back for their treatment each day, uh, being readied for anesthesia, and then other patients returning from their treatment, uh, recovering from the effects of anesthesia. We need to make it a less sterile, less medical place. We rely heavily on donations and generous support of former patients and friends to fund things like our child life specialist, our recovery room renovations, and a number of other aspects related to the holistic care of a child and their family during this critical time. The best thing that we do in here is a six foot, 300 pound chime that they get to ring um, post treatment and that's for everybody. Whatever we're treating, we want to celebrate with them with the, the gentle ringing of a chime. All it takes is seeing one child ring those bells. That's a successful day.